Thanks for joining us as we continue our out-of-the-box Odoo 16 implementation for the barbershop. Today we're moving our focus towards expanding our business through online product sales. Utilizing Odoo's e-commerce module, we'll be able to expand our market and gain a broader reach while also simplifying the way that our current wholesale customers can purchase products. While there are many options to choose from when selecting an e-commerce solution, the following benefits are what make Odoo really stand out. The main factor being that I will have sales, accounting, web, inventory, e-commerce, and more all within one centralized system. This also translates to increased efficiency and accuracy. So with this one system, people can log in and access various information and data that they need at particular points in the sales cycle. And it also reduces human error, redundancy, and work effort when it comes to um, our employees utilizing the system. This is especially important with our accounting um, and e-commerce solution being in one system. There's no manual effort to move data or integrate different softwares. It's also a very cost-effective solution for us. Because I want my ERP to last for the next 10 to 15 years, I'm anticipating there will be some upgrades needed to the system. But by utilizing Odoo's inbuilt solution, I'm not going to be hindered by additional work effort needs and um, more than I need to spend when it comes to checking version compatibility for when upgrades do occur. So in today's video, we're going to be installing e-commerce, configuring payment and shipping methods, as well as getting our products published to the website. Let's get started. Drilling into our apps module, we're going to search for e-commerce. And we're going to go ahead and activate this module. So once this goes through the process and is activated, um, it's going to take us to our e-commerce website. Um, and right now you can see it's not quite ready to go. Um, many of the products are unpublished and we've also got services. We're going to fix that in a little bit. But for now, we're going to go back to the dashboard and we'll go into the back end of our website to set up the configurations. All right, into our module from the configuration drop down, we need to select settings. And we are going to be setting up an alternative payment method than what we have here. Um, so we're going to go in and click on authorize.net. That's who we utilize. We'll install this and we need to go ahead and activate it as well. So clicking in here, we're going to need to have our API login um, as well as keys. So right now it's listed as disabled. We need to change it to test mode as we're setting this up. I'm going to get the API login information, the ID, the signature key, as well as the transaction key. And then once I get that all in here in these fields, we're going to go ahead and click on the generate client key. Okay, looks good. Um, next up, we just need to go ahead and publish it. So clicking on that button there and you'll see it's gone from red to green. So we're ready to go ahead and get started on um, setting up our shipping methods. We'll go to inventory again, configuration and settings from the drop down. And then we're going to look up delivery. So here under shipping methods, delivery methods, we'll click save. Okay, now we're going to go back up to the configuration drop down and we're going to select shipping methods. Now, when this first opens up, there is a free delivery charges method here. If we drill into it, you'll see that this method is not yet published. So we really don't need to go and do anything here, but let's go out now and create a new shipping method that we'll use on our website. We're using USPS for all shipping and it is flat rate. So we're gonna select fixed price for our shipping method. But Odoo does allow us to set up shipping methods based on rules where you can set conditions based on weight, volume, price, or quantity. So we'll close this for now and select fixed price from the dropdown. We'll create and edit our delivery product here, setting the price um, and then we'll save it. All right. Now we also want to offer free shipping to those making purchases over $50. So we're going to go ahead and tick this box here to set that amount as well. 
And then moving up to the world symbol, uh, we're going to go ahead and publish this method by clicking. Finally, we are ready to publish our products to the website. We're going to go up to products and select variants from the drop down menu. Here we can see all our products and services that we have in our system. Now we're going to go ahead and filter this down to show products only. And this is the list that we're going to need to export and then update the is published field to show true. Now we can go ahead and import our updated spreadsheet into the system. You can now see that the is published box is ticked next to our products that will be selling on the website. Let's go ahead to our website now and see how this would look like when a customer goes through checkout. All right, so here we are on the website and we can see our products have been published. So that's great. And you can see we have some unpublished ones, but let's go ahead and add a few like we would if we were shopping. All right, we'll add our gel and let's go ahead and add the dry shampoo. Okay, here in our cart, we can see everything. Let's go ahead and process to checkout. All right, here we can see that the shipping method has been updated here. Uh, we can pay with our credit card. So let's put in a test number and we'll go ahead and pay that. So let's make sure it's working. Again, it's in test mode. All right, they're processing the payment. This is awesome. It looks like it's working for us. Okay, so sales order eight is our order that we're gonna go back. Um, we can see that the payment was successfully processed. We're gonna go back to the back end and check it out through our sales module now. Okay, so now we can see we have some sales orders here, but we need to clear it out for my quotation. So we'll see everything that's come on through the website as well. So we have our sales order eight here. All right, and in the chatter, you can see everything that was seen on the website, a copy of the sales order, as well as the delivery order. Um, so this is perfect. This is the benefit of an e-commerce solution within Odoo. My sales, my inventory, and now my accounting is all going to be within one system. I don't have to pop in and out between different softwares or worry about additional connectors. And that's all for us today. If you want to know more about Odoo and how Confions can help you digitally transform your business, contact us at sales at confionsit.com or call 704-214-4622, extension 403.